Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and today I've got an interesting video for you. Today I'm going to compare the MSR Dragonfly here on the left to the Optimus Polaris on the right. Now what spurred the idea for this video was one of my subscribers sent me an email and he was asking about these two stoves and in liquid feed mode, how do they compare on flame control. So let's go ahead and, and tell you right out the gate that both of these stoves are fabulous when it comes to flame control and both stoves just work very well. The performance difference that you'll get between these two stoves they're very close they're on par with each other let's go ahead and get started we'll start with the stove here on the right this is the Optimus Polaris let me turn this overhead light off so you can see more about what the flames are doing you're gonna see a little bit of soot and stuff so just stand by for that as you can see I'm starting off at a birthday candle so very light and then as I open this valve you can see that the flame control on this stove is absolutely phenomenal. Now just for the record I want you guys to know that both of these fuel canisters are running gasoline that came from the exact same uh, gas can so the fuel is identical. Now if we continue to open the valve you'll see that the the flames are starting to take off a little bit more now one thing that I will make note of about the Optimus Polaris is it likes to run warm. So once you get it primed, it likes to stay that way. If you put it on a low setting for too long, it does have a little bit of a struggle getting back up. It kind of needs to prime again. But the flame control, as you can see, is fabulous. So we'll go ahead and open it up more and more. There we go. You see all that soot blowing out there. You can go anywhere from a birthday candle all the way up to a rolling flame like this. Both stoves are going to be loud because of the flame spreader design. Now let's go down. You can see that the flame control is pretty much anywhere along the spectrum from low to high. You got a very nice flame there. On the lower end, you lose a little bit of flame control on the Polaris versus the Dragonfly. I'll show you that here in a minute. Sometimes the Polaris goes out. It doesn't like to simmer as well. And of course, I'm using gasoline. I'm using really crappy fuel. But there we are back to a birthday candle. Now starting over here at the Dragonfly, you can see that we are at a birthday candle. And if I increase the valve you can see that this stove has phenomenal flame control much better flame control I would say than the Polaris but the Polaris does a great job as well if I had to buy one of these stoves over the other I would personally buy the Polaris and I'll talk about some of those reasons here in a little bit but on liquid feed mode the Dragonfly definitely has the Polaris beat on flame control so you can see I can go anywhere from a birthday candle up to a rolling boil with this stove. The one thing that I notice about the Dragonfly that's a little bit better than the Polaris is its ability to stay hot once you get it primed. The Polaris seems to cool down a little quicker than the Dragonfly does. You can see a lot of soot and stuff like that. And again, I'm running junk fuel. I'm just running some old gasoline. basically what the, the Dragonfly looks like full speed get that yellow flame because I'm not quite primed 100% it cooled down a little bit while I was playing with the Optimus Polaris there we see the Dragonfly full full speed you can see that it does a great job maintaining that flame anywhere along the spectrum 
you can choose like a birthday candle and it'll stay at a birthday candle when you deal with the Polaris if you try to put it on a birthday candle sometimes you lose that birthday candle sometimes it'll go out the Polaris has a little bit harder time staying at the extremely low settings so you can see that it, it's cool so it's gonna have to kind of prime again now it's doing great so you got the birthday candle on the Polaris as well as the dragonfly good flame control. So there you can see both stoves did a fabulous job. Now one thing that I personally like a lot about the Polaris is what I'll show you right now. This is where the Polaris shines over the Dragonfly. I can take this liquid fuel off of the Polaris and I can run it on Isopro fuel. This is where the Polaris runs circles around the dragonfly. It loves to function on these types of fuel canisters. These guys right here. So I can fire this bad boy up and because it's already primed we're gonna have beautiful performance and the neat thing is we don't have to change the jet. The dragonfly will not use these fuel canisters but the Polaris will. So you can go from liquid fuel straight over to isopro fuel canisters on the Polaris and it never changes jets. The downside to, change, to never changing jets is you don't get to fine tune the carburetor so to speak like you can on the MSR Dragonfly. However, like I mentioned, the Dragonfly does not use isopro fuel canisters. So that's what we're getting out of the Polaris. Beautiful flame control in vapor mode here. And if you want to put these little arms out, you can flip this over and run the Polaris in liquid feed mode on the isopro fuel canisters. So it'll run very similar to what we saw just a minute ago as far as flame control performance and all that. Now here is my final conclusion. When it comes to liquid fuels, the MSR Dragonfly has better flame control than the Optimus Polaris. But if I had to choose one of these stoves, I would choose the Polaris hands down because of its ability to use canister fuel as well as liquid fuel. Even though you lose a little bit of, of flame control, it's still an amazing choice. The Dragonfly will not use the Isopro fuel canister, so for me personally, that takes it out of the equation. I would stick with the Optimus Polaris, even though I would lose a tiny bit of uh, flame control. The flame control on the Dragonfly is phenomenal. That's probably its best feature. It's a fabulous stove, and if all you're going to ever run is liquid fuel, then the Dragonfly would probably be a better stove for you. So with all that being said, folks, I want to say thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and as always, have a beautiful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.